Welcome. Welcome back to Bambi Banks. I am Bambi Banks Kule, and we are here on the couch with my two best girlies, Dita Ritz and the Vixen. Hi. What up? How y'all doing today? <laughs> Good. 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 How you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. How did you like the lemon blunt cake? Oh. Girl, it's moist and good. Bruh. Girl. <laughs> nice I'm, and moist. I'm definitely lit. Are y'all lit? Oh, no, I'm lit. I, mean, I, had, uh, I ain't going to lie, I'm lit. I'm Shea Kool-Aid kind of threw down. She did that. She put her wrist in that. Yeah. If you haven't seen it, please look up the uh, last episode of Bambi Bakes where Shea Kool-Aid gives us a lemon blunt cake. When I say <sighs> we are blasted right now, you can <sighs> probably tell. And blessed too, <laughs> and blessed also, but and highly flavored. We're oh. baked. <laughs> we're baked. Highly. Now that we've ate, we're going to a, uh, we're going to do a segment called "She Ate That," where wow. we show these girls iconic moments that they have had where they were eating and biting the system. Oh, tell us, tell us. <laughs> okay. I didn't know it was biting. <laughs> we'll start it. with Miss Dita Ritz. Oh, yes. Here we have a clip from Miss Dita Ritz in the Vixen's Black Girl Magic at Roscoe's Chicago. Yes. You were eating. I was, I mean, every Black Girl Magic is important. That's what I say. But don't Ms. she know T. she can't catch no man hanging out at the discotheque because it's just gay men at the discotheque? I know. Why she don't know that? I mean, somebody do need to. <laughs> but she gonna catch something tonight. Oh, she was gonna catch something tonight, definitely. Because yeah, look at how it's working. And I have been wanting to wear fringe, that little fringe skirt situation. Yeah. I remember I was like, I, you know, fringe makes you feel like, I mean, you get on stage and you're just like, and it just can sometimes narrate the song really well mm -hmm. when you're wearing fringe. Like, it just, I, and I remember thinking that when I was performing. Yeah. No, and I always say at Black Girl Magic, like, Vixen knows this, because Vixen, you know, you know this, Bambi, Vixen puts us all to it. She's like, she, she does. expects us to bring it. And, and she it better be good. It, and it makes sense. That's mm -hmm. our job. So I, I mean, I love that philosophy, I, I that like idea Jill, of you know, every performance. <laughs> every performance is an audition. I've yeah, always thought absolutely. that. Absolutely. You know, because yeah. you never know who's in the audience, who's going to watch. And right. Like, and it pays off because, like, so many times y'all will do a Black Girl Magic show and somebody will see you and they want to book you for something else. Exactly. So like, exactly. Bring it. So you always got to bring your yeah. best. Always bring your best, y'all. Always. Ooh. Show up to the test. Prepared. <laughs> so first of all, Miss Girlie, you ate that. What was your favorite part of that performance? Uh, wearing a fringe, girl. Oh, and period. honestly, just doing the black girl magic. I mean, that at, I don't, at that point, like we had been getting into like the flow yeah. of doing <laughs> it. And mm -hmm. I, I just love that we were doing it, especially at like the very like epicenter of, of Boys Town and kind of like, you know, at Roscoe's of all places. Yeah. And, you know, it was just exciting to like be introducing like just really uh, like this thing that yeah, is that black like drag month. culture, that was yeah. Month too. Like black drag is a specific type of thing, you know, and mm -hmm. how what we channel and what we take from, and so I just I think that just doing it because I love doing black girl magic and I love working with y'all. Like really, you know, we have such a good time. Yeah, we have such a good time. So yes. yeah. And that was Dita, because she ate that. <laughs> <laughs> now let's watch our next video where Vixen ate that for the Danforth Music Hall Toronto. Um, oh, yes, I know her well. Mm-hmm. Okay, oh, already. It's the beginning. Okay. This is the season 10 tour. <laughs> I am obsessed oh with God. this vixen. This is one of my favorite vixens, the blue haired, blue <laughs> signature. braided, yeah. signature, signature vixen look. Yeah. Was this the wig or your real hair? Oh, this was a wig, yeah. Wig. But before I did like um, the cocky video with the braids up, I did a shoot like this, and it was the last photo that Shay left on her uh, Facebook when mm -hmm. she left for Drag Race. Oh. So people were searching Shay and they were running to a picture of me. So I had a very busy year. Oh my, <laughs> God. Like, oh my God, I didn't know that. Yeah. I never knew that. That's I crazy. love that. It was like, okay. I was like, that was a smart thing to do. That is really smart. Yeah. Girl, you are keying on stage, I live. Oh, I right. love this. It was, cause I knew that they weren't used to like seeing people be so like bouncy like I am in clubs. And oh. So I was like, I know this is going to Ooh. Yes, yeah, yes, I yes. With a wig? Yes, 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 queen. That looks like yes. that hurts. Oh, it does. Girl, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, yes. you feel it the next day when you do yeah. a good hair flip. You be yeah. like, ooh, you wake up like that. The neck, the neck, girl. 
let. Oh, yes, I was. Really uh, okay. Go- she was going oh, okay. For- <laughs> I know how to dance. She said, give them Joffrey. <laughs> Period. I know how to dance, darling. I'm a dance. Oh, yeah. yes. So you can tell how much that was pent down. Good. Okay. Like, all the. A, a million body so, so pins. I think it's pent on. Mm-hmm. Just, if anyone wants to be uh, qu- not clear about it, my, my wig was the wig was pinned. The wig was pinned. We and taped. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tucked and plucked. Okay. <laughs> now you know you ate. But Miss Vixen, what was your favorite part of that performance? Ah, uh, my favorite part of that performance is. Definitely the hair whipping because I knew that it would just like blow everybody's mind. Mm-hmm. It was like one of the first times that I was performing in a theater like with my name, like being like the big thing. Uh-huh. And like it just being like a sea of people that was like just that huge. And like it was like we we're probably like on the first episode of Drag Race. So like everybody was like, actually, yeah, it was the episode that like me and Eureka had the big fight. And uh-huh. so I was glad that these people in this room hadn't seen it yet. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, uh-huh. yes. like, I was like, OK, we're going to watch it after the show. But nobody here hates me that much yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, she said, I'm about to stunt for the girl. Yeah, one All last right. time. Oh, and that was Vixen when she ate that. <laughs> Finally, last summer, there was a drag march in Chicago where a lot of queens spoke like Shay, Dita, and Vixen. But right now, we want to highlight some of those speeches that left us speechless. For me and my sisters have been forced to do this and more. And if you love us so much, if you long to protect us, if we matter so much to you, then why do we still die? We are forced to be activists. We are forced to be our own savior, so no one is willing to give more to save us than my sisters and I. And how we give. All of us forced into mothering and womanhood, and from our breasts you bite and suckle, taken in our art, our culture, our essence, our influence, our light, and yet you ignore us, neglect us, attack us, and we mother you when you leave us to die. And I am tired. Children who I have given to from my body, why do you not cry for me? For a mother, would you not give your body, your wealth, your position, your status, your pride? Would you not give your pride? For everything that you have taken from my sisters, all of it, and what have you given in return? A dollar bill at the club? a trans day of remembrance post. The honor, because so many of you see it as an honor, the honor of martyrdom. What have you given us? What have you given your mothers? Ladies, how did you feel about being at the drag march? It was a dream. It was so unbelievable and so surreal to, you know, be walking in the same space that we walk for pride parades every year and be doing it with queer people but in support of Black Lives Matter. I was like, this is beyond my wildest dreams and as long as I've been like a loud mouth about race issues in Boys Town, I didn't see that this was a possibility and so it was like Mm -hmm. super surreal. Yeah, and I feel like you even highlighted that in your speech like saying that I think you actually said those exact words. You <laughs> Probably. were like, I never thought that something like this would happen because uh, if you are from Chicago, you know the Vixen and you know what she stands for <laughs> and how long she's been fighting. So yeah. I think that was really important to have you up there to speak for oh, those people. Yeah. And Dita, how did you feel about it? I mean, I my mind was like a whirlwind that day because I was also in disbelief that it was actually happening. And then I also thought, I think what kept running through my mind was um, Tosh Mahal, my drag mom, because, you know, like bef- when I first came into the scene, she was the only black entertainer I saw being like really respected and highly revered by the drag scene and Boys Town and like, you know, all of that. So I just thought like she would be so happy to know that like we're all here and we're speaking and like she would be proud of like you and like Shay, you know, and like all the girls that she saw like really coming up. And I myself, I was just full of emotion. I remember like kind of like kind of crying afterwards because for me it was just like like when I got back home home, I was just kind of like, wow, like today was just something that I'm so happy that I got to see happen. You know, I've just have been working in Chicago for a really long time. And, you know, I, I am the auntie. I am the, you know, person who's just walked every every street in the city, you know, and then worked, and, you know what I mean? Like, you know, and, and really 
done and really like pay like I know what I've done so I guess for me it was just it made me happy to be able to see that and then to see like all of you speak and you know just know that like I'm giving courage to like other black queens to speak you know like that makes me super happy because I hear that a lot and I don't even know how to like process that sometimes because yeah. like I know that I like you said I don't want to be a loud mouth but I'm angry and I'm 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 bad so I'm gonna speak yeah and I love when other black queens say like I speak up because you spoke up and it's yeah. like oh my like gosh. it makes it's a payoff mm -hmm. so to have like so the pay parade or to have like the march um echo that and like show us a very visible yeah. like representation was, of the support that we had was mm -hmm. like crazy yeah well i feel personally that some of the work has um some of the people that supported us a lot of the time have like stopped trying to like do the work yeah so what is something that people can do to continue working to fight for black lives like a comment repost something <laughs> like post, you know if you see something you know i'm all, we all on youtube just fishing around in the youtube yeah. all right we all watch a news clip or two take that share button d double click that copy that link and just post it on twitter randomly you don't even gotta say nothing you yeah. just posting that link is showing yeah. like okay we see you Support. we yeah. like i see you i can't really speak because we get it in yeah. entertainment sometimes you can't speak because you don't yeah. want to mess up the chat yeah but you just doing little things but liking and just Letting yeah. it be known, like, I'm with you, I see you. Yeah, keep, that, the, keep the energy that you had last June and, like, you know, repost everything and, like, don't let the content trickle because you're not supporting. So you have to, like, keep up the same, you're part of the deal, and that's amplifying black voices. Mm -hmm. And you've already spoken up, so at this point, you know, yeah. everybody is going to, you know, come on. Right. It's, it, nobody has amnesia. They know that you were very <laughs> passionate, you know, like, <laughs> use your voice. Yeah. <laughs> It feels good to have an open dialogue about what's been going on in the community. But sometimes it's also good to just let go and dance. So I'm going to play a song from the 70s, and whoever does the corresponding dance first gets a point. <laughs> I hope y'all are wearing your good dancing shoes. DJ, start the beat. Girl, do y'all know what the hustle is? Oh, yeah, a little white, huh? I mean, you have to stand up to do the hustle, though, right? Oh, you got to stand up to do the hustle? I, you have to stand up to do okay, the hustle. Okay, let's stand up. You got a 98, <laughs> you got a 98 baby yelling at some 89s. <laughs> I mean, you stand up to do the hustle. Five, six, seven, hustle. Huh, 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 Oh, the hustle band. The hustle band, do the hustle. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, 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 I knew that. Yeah, that's cute. I like the hustle. All right. Okay. Like, well, they failed that one, so let's try it again. <laughs> let's try again. Are y'all ready for this next dance? Yes. I feel like you'll get this one. It's more of an instructional type, oh. type moment. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I hope I'm right. <laughs> if I was wrong. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. Oh my god. So embarrassed. Like, you know how like they just They really gave this a little lead up. It wasn't like a Macarena where you had to dance the whole time. You just do the one oh, part, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the bounce. Actually, I think they did have a whole dance to the, oh, it's the YMCA, guys. The Y. Yeah. Vixen <laughs> one, Vixen one, Vixen oh, yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. She got that point. Did nobody get the point for the first one? Okay. I mean, if you kind of think about it, that means everybody did. True. Okay, let's do it that way. <laughs> everybody gets a point for the first one. Oh, <laughs> good. Period. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you ready for our last dance? Mm -hmm. They're going to play a song, and you're going to do it. Are you ready? Okay. okay, so the dance is called The Bus Stop. Give it to us, ladies. I think I got one. Oh, you got it? I think I got one. What is it? What's The Bus Stop? Oh, okay. She's waiting for The Bus Stop. She's waiting. She's waiting. She's wa oh, oh, and she's walking to the bus. Oh, it has oh, and she, oh, she's oh, 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 okay. Yeah, check on the bus. It's giving bus stop. It's giving bus stop. I think she got that point. She's definitely I was on Rodeo definitely Drive. Yeah. At the bus stop. I don't know the dance, the bus stop. I was not born in the 70s, but. 
It's giving bust up. <laughs> Getting on the bus. It's giving bust, bust up, like, bust up well, realness. <laughs> we I think that's that's a tie. You both win. Yes. Sorry, I had to do the math. That takes me. Oh my god. That's all good. Well. Dita Vixen, thank you so much for joining us today for some of Shay's Lemon Blunt Cake and Boogie. Thanks for having thank us. Thank you. Uh, do you have anything that you guys wanted to plug real quick? Yes. You mean the internet. Plug. So uh, <laughs> you can follow me on Instagram at The Vixen's World, or you can buy merch from me at shop.thevixensworld.com. And yeah, listen to my album, Commercial Break, on all platforms. Period. Ew. Yes. Uh, Instagram, Dita Swag. Twitter, The Real Dita Swag. Facebook.com slash Dita Ritz. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank y'all so much for coming and dishing with me. I hope you got your Cannabella Lux goodie bag. Oh, yes. oh That's a cute goodie that's bag, girl. That's a very thank cute you. goodie yeah. bag. I like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Meet us next week back in the kitchen when we bake with more special guests and decolonize weed from the kitchen to the couch. Cheers. Bye.